Hey there, I've gotten several questions recently about uh, ketosis. People just being confused about kind of what the numbers mean. When are you in ketosis? So since a lot of my videos, I am testing my ketones, I thought I would make a video just kind of explaining what ketosis is, um, kind of what, what does ketosis really mean? What does it do for you? And just overall, just kind of an explanation about ketosis as I understand it. So um, I will go ahead and start this video. If you like videos like this, um, consider subscribing to my channel. Uh, give, it, give this video a thumbs up if you find it helpful at all, or if you like this video. Um, I will go ahead and get into it. So to start things off, ketosis is basically the blood ketones that's in your body um, that's assigned basically a number. So if your ketones in your blood are at a 0.5 or above, that means you're in ketosis. So for my purposes, I focus on ketosis as being 0.5 and above. Um, because that I, I do keto um, as a diet and as a lifestyle, not for any medical reasons. So that's kind of what I focus on in my ketone testing videos. So for me in particular, why I like to try and stay in ketosis, which is at 0.5 or above, um, is because my energy level tends to be higher when I'm in ketosis. I tend to feel better when I'm below a 0.5. I tend to feel more lethargic. It's not always, um, that's just what it seems to be most of the time. So that's kind of why I focus on the numbers. It might be different for you. You might feel lethargic at a 0.5. Maybe you feel your best at 1.0. Um, but I know for me in particular, I definitely uh, feel better when I am a, a 0.5 or above. So for me, what your ketones basically are helpful for is just a measurement of how your food is affecting your body. Um, that's how I like to use my ketones. That's why I test my ketones for different products that I have is because I want to fill my day with foods that either have no effect on my ketones or raise my ketones because I know that when I am at a 0.5 and above, um, I, I feel my best. So that's kind of what I use uh, testing my ketones for. You can use it for whatever else you wanna use it for, but that's kind of um, the way that makes the most sense to me and that I find the most helpful. I had tried testing my glucose levels in the past, and I did that for the same reason, to try and identify which foods I can eat and which foods I can't eat. Um, I would test my glucose level after having like the most sugary thing you can imagine. And my glucose level wouldn't change at all. It wouldn't really even spike. So I didn't find it helpful to be testing my glucose level because my glucose levels don't seem to change all that much if I eat meat or if I eat candy. Um, so that's why I personally don't test my glucose levels. Um, but I'm not diabetic, I'm not pre-diabetic, so glucose levels aren't really something I'm concerned with. And considering I had tested my glucose uh, for a year straight and didn't really see any fluctuations, um, no matter what kind of foods I had, I don't think my glucose level is a concern um, for me in particular. Um, I know some people do keto because they are diabetic, so obviously testing your glucose levels might be more beneficial than um, testing your ketones. But for me, it's the opposite. Um, my glucose levels don't really tell me much um, rather than my ketone levels do. Another reason why some people like to um, test their ketones to make sure they're in uh, ketosis is because lots of people believe that your, your body burns more fat when it's in ketosis versus when it's not in ketosis. And that's kind of why a lot of people think keto works so well. Um, I actually kind of agree with that. Um, I don't know the science behind it, but just from my personal experience, I know when I am not in ketosis and I'll be weighing myself, I tend to lose less weight than when I am in ketosis. So, just my anecdotal experience, I would have to agree with that. I think you do lose more weight. 
I don't know if it's fat per se, but you definitely lose more weight when, um, when I at least am in ketosis versus when I'm not. So, um, I think that's definitely something to play with and see how your body reacts to it because everyone's different. So, um, how my body reacts might not be how your body reacts. I think that's important to keep in mind. So that's kind of my brief summary of kind of what ketosis is, what it can be helpful for, and you know, how you can kind of use your ketone levels to help your journey along. Um, I think the important thing for me is that my ketones are most closely aligned with how I feel. And why I started doing keto is um, to feel my best. So you might be doing keto to lose a lot of weight. And I think keto is great for that. Um, and if that is the case, being in ketosis might help you reach that goal. But um, I think really you got to try things out and see, you know, what ketone level you feel the best at and what kind of helps you to uh, lose the weight that you're wanting to lose or feel the way that you're wanting to feel. So I hope this was helpful for you guys. I'm not like a scientist. I've just been doing keto for over two years now and just have learned some things from experience. This is just from my personal experience um, and kind of what I've seen other people talk about in their videos. So um, this is mostly anecdotal, but um, I hope this was helpful to you in some way. I know this can be pretty confusing uh, if you're just getting started. So um, if you have any questions, let me know and I'll, I'll try and help the best way I can. Uh, but that's all I have for you in this video. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.